Um, I have my sister coming over, and when my sister comes over, she usually likes something to lunch on while I make her her actual lunch, since she's coming to have lunch. All of a sudden, she calls me and tells me, hey, I'm coming over, make me lunch. It's my big sister, so guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make her lunch. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make us a queso fundido. And what that is basically is a Mexican cheese dip. And what it contains is veggies, cheese, and it can also contain a meat. Not, I mean, nothing crazy, but I mean, your bacon, some spam, that's what I'm using here today. Also, you can even add in shredded chicken. If you're gonna try to make an actual meal out of it, you can add shredded chicken to it and serve that as just, you know, a little small portion of it. Whatever, it's usually used as a dip though. And it's very, very good and it's not time consuming at all. So what I have here is my typical seasonings, garlic salt, pepper, of course, um, some parsley flakes. I have my olive oil so I can fry my spam and then I'm gonna saute my veggies first and have them cooked. And um, I'm using the Mexican style blend cheese. Any cheese is fine, but I have this to use. And I'm also gonna add in some spinach to the dip. So it's gonna come out really good. The veggies that I use, tomato, bell pepper, jalapeno, onions, and spinach is what I'm using today. So let me go ahead, add a little bit of oil to my skillet here so I can cook the spam. I'm gonna throw the spam in first and have the spam actually cook up before I add in my veggies. Veggies don't need to be cooked that long because they're also gonna go into the oven at 350 degrees, your whole skillet will, for about 10 to 15 minutes until your cheese melts and browns. It gets like a nice little toast to it. looking crazy while well, I go ahead and finish chopping up all my veggies and then you'll see. I have all my veggies cut except for this onion that I'm going to cut right here so you can see that and then I'm going to go ahead and add that into my skillet with the spam that's pretty much done. Now right here I've already cut tomato, bell pepper, jalapenos and another onion actually. So that's what I have right there. The spinach, obviously, it's already cut, so I'll add that in right now. Oh, I hate that. Okay. So you can slice them thick or you can slice them thin. I like to slice them thin. I don't like biting into super huge chunks of onion, especially I'm not an onion person. So I do them really thin so they can become almost just like nice thin grilled onions and then I don't crunch into them. I don't like that. They feel free to leave them as thick as you'd like. All the vegetables. I just cut them really thin because I think they cut better. So. And this is a pretty good low carb also because you don't even have to add meat to it or you can but it's low carb. There's nothing here that is carbs if you're on the keto diet this is great for you and if you need to use chips for it you can also um, make yourself some Dorito chips keto friendly of course and that would be really great with this or if you don't mind a tortilla you can also get a low carb tortilla corn tortilla and you scoop it up place that into your tortilla and have at it and it tastes delicious I made this before for her and they love it. it there's never any left. Everything is gone. So, and like I said, it's quick, easy, and my eyes are burning me from the onion. So, excuse me. Quick and easy. So, now I'm going to add in all my veggies. Okay, you're just going to add them all in like that. I don't know if that way. Jalapenos. I didn't 
I didn't take the seeds out because we all like the spice here, so I don't remove the seeds. But you can remove the seeds, or if you don't want jalapenos in it, you don't have to. This is pretty much add whatever veggie you like. That's the good thing about this dish is whatever you want to put in your dish, you put in your dish. I've made this dip with chorizo also, and it's really good. So, excuse me. Wash my hands for the 10,000 times. Okay. There's my garlic salt. And the garlic salt is going to be probably about a tablespoon, if that. Not that much. Because the spam is salty already, you don't need much. Now I'm adding the spicy jalapeno. And this is Jack spicy jalapeno. And this, you should go to town on this because obviously there's no salt. And best for last, pepper. Pepper is life. I don't understand how some people don't like pepper. How can you eat without pepper? I put pepper, tons of pepper in my pepper, and my sauces. I don't know. That's maybe it's just me. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just let this cook here with the veggies on top. While this is happening, you want to preheat your oven to 350. So that way, you can pop it in once it's ready with the cheese. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is I'm slowly mixing everything together with the spam and the veggies and the seasoning so everything can mesh well together. And if you could get a little bite of spam in there when they pick up the food and the dip. Nothing special, nothing crazy. It's super easy to make and you guys will see how quick this is done. I mean, all it is basically is the cooking of the meat that you want to use and your vegetables. And that's it. So, that's good. I'll leave it like that. In the meanwhile... Let my oven preheat and then stick it in there. Alrighty, and now my spam is done. My veggies are cooked. I already added in the spinach as well. I don't know if you can see it from there, but I'll put it close up right now for you guys. It smells good. Looks pretty. Tastes delicious. You see that? They're really good. Okay, so they're to my liking. I'm just waiting for my oven to finish preheating. And then I'll go ahead and toss them in there. So in the meanwhile that your oven's preheating, you can just easily let them keep cooking. I have them on a low, so they can cook as long as they want. Really up to you. So... And after, um, before I stick this into the oven, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cheese and I'm gonna top this whole thing with cheese. And there's my oven. So, what we are gonna do right now is mix it super good for the spam to come to the top. A little bit, cause it's on the bottom cooking. Okay, so keep in mind I have bell peppers, tomato, onion, jalapenos, and spinach inside of here, all right? Now, we'll go ahead and turn that off and add the cheese. Don't be shy either, because I'm sure cheese is life at your house too. Okay, we're going to fill it completely with cheese to where... You don't even see what's in the pan. Okay? All the way around. All the way around. All the way around. Okay? And there it is. As you can see, all you see is cheese. Alright, we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes until the cheese melts and gets toasty or however you would like it. And then we're gonna take it out and you'll see right now. Okie okay, dokie, okay. I think it's done. I'm gonna take it out.
You see that? Can you see that? It's delicious. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and add a little bit of cilantro to the top of your queso fundido. And it's done. Your, your dip is done. It's delicious. Look at Let me see that. If you can smell it, you can taste it. And I wish you could smell it. Okay, so now that this is done, what I'm going to do is show you guys how you can eat it. To the corn tortilla. Not by choice because I don't want to have to eat a corn tortilla. But I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to make my sister's plate for her. So it'll be ready when she gets here. I've already had my comal on, so it's warm. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spoon some of this onto here and eat it like a taco. You can't go wrong with tacos, right? You guys all know that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think probably not. All right, so let's go ahead and just grab a napkin here. You guys can see. And then you're gonna take your spoon, dip it in here. Look at that. Oh, can you see that? Oh my gosh, I wish you could. It's too far probably. And then we will top it into the there you have it. All you gotta do is start eating, but I'm not carbs. I'm done. I made the breakfast skillet and then I made a dip and we're good for now. Um, thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Please share it and I hope you like all the meals that I'm preparing for you guys. The ones that I already have, which is only a couple, and the ones that I'll be doing in the future. Thanks you guys. Bye.